Hi, today I'm going to go through an example to solve an integration problem using the transformation method. So first we are going to sketch the region of integration, then sketch the transformed region, then we have to calculate the Jacobian and we do the double integration. Okay, the example I have here is, so let R be the region bounded by x plus y is equal to 1, x is equal to 0, and y is equal to 0. And the question is, show that the double integral cos x minus y divided by x plus y dx dy is equal to sine 1 over 2. So they're asking us to use the transformation method. So first, we are going to draw the region. So... I'm going here, so x and y axis, y, x axis, x axis, y axis, zero. Okay, here we have uh, the the region is bounded by x plus one is equal to one. This this is a straight line which uh, touching here. Uh, I put it bigger. So here is one. Here is one. Yeah. This is the line, which is uh, x plus y is equal to one. Yeah. And uh, they say x is equal to zero and y is equal to zero. So x is equal to zero is that line. Yeah. X is equal to zero. And y equal to 0 is that line. That line is y equal to 0. So we have this, this, and this. So that is the region that is bounded by uh, y is equal to 0, x is equal to 0, and x plus y, uh, y is equal to 1. Yes? So we draw uh, we draw the region now we have to find a good transformation in our example it's not uh, hard to find the one is you can use many but uh, so we have here uh, cos x minus y divided by x plus y why not uh, i'm going to choose uh, i'm going to say let u is equal to x minus y and the let v is equal to x plus y yeah so that we have the co uh, integral of uh, transformed region it will be rt so of cos u uh, u divided by v yeah and then uh, then the jacobian and then the u dv but uh, but then uh, now we have to draw the transformed region RT. So to to draw it, we'll have to use the boundaries. So the boundaries that we know. So from the line, from the line x plus y is equal to one. What we get so x plus y is equal to 1 we have here x plus 1 is equal to v so we get a boundary which is v is equal to 1 so that is the first boundary yeah from the line from the line x is equal to 0 yeah what we have from the line x is equal to 0 we have so we have uh, x minus y is equal to u x minus y is equal to u and x plus y is equal to v x plus y is equal to v yeah so what are we going to do we are going to add this both together so we will get 2x is equal to u plus 2x is equal to u plus v yeah 
So just uh, the Y eliminate, uh, can eliminate. Why are we doing this? Because we have to to have uh, the we have to have x as x as a function of u and v, and the y is a function of u and v as well. Yeah. Okay. So we get uh, two x is equal to u plus v, which mean, uh, which uh, and uh, x is equal to zero. Yes. So uh, two x is u plus v. That mean x is equal to u plus v over two. Yeah. And we have that we have here x is equal to zero. So u plus v equal to two must equal to zero as well. Yeah. That means u plus v is equal to zero, which means v is equal to minus one. Minus u, sorry. <laughs> sorry. That means v must equal to minus u in this. So that is the second boundary. The third boundary, we are going to use uh, the other line, which is the uh, line. Uh, y is equal to 0 in here we uh, last time we add them now we are going to subtract this both so x minus y is equal to u and uh, x plus y x plus y is equal to v when we subtract them we get to y is equal to v minus u yeah we take this one minus this one the x is uh, 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 is eliminated and then y minus minus y is to y and v minus u yeah that mean and here we have uh, that mean y is equal v minus u over 2 yeah there we have uh, y is equal to 0 that means this is equal to 0 that means here we have u is equal to v that is the third boundary that is the third corresponding boundary okay now we are going to draw it so that was the r the region now we are going to draw the transformed region x axis y axis uh, no sorry it was x and y now because we changed it so this is u axis u and this is v okay so u axis and v axis because obviously because we have uh, here the boundaries which is v equal to 1 and uh, v is equal to minus u and u is equal to v which uh, there is no x and y that's why so v is equal to 1 here is 1 yeah so this is v is equal to 1 v is equal to minus u and u, u is equal to v that are there So this one is uh, u is equal to v, and this one uh, v is equal to minus u, or u equal to minus v, same. So this one, v is equal to 1, uh, which is the corresponding to, v is equal to, 1 is corresponding to the line x plus y is equal to 1. So before it was this line, yeah, transformed to this one, yeah. And uh, u is uh, v is equal to minus u. V is equal to minus u. It's coming from the line corresponding of uh, the line x is equal to zero, which is this one. So this line, this line, is transformed to this one, and the other line is transformed in here. So the transformed region is the one uh, bounded by these three lines, which is this one. 
call it RT. Okay. Okay, I'm going to uh, to stop here and then I do in the second part I'm, I am going to do the calculation. So here we uh, I'm just the question was uh, so R is the region bounded by that and that and that we draw it yeah and they tell us to uh, show that this yeah to calculate this uh, double integral uh, using transformation so we use transformation u is uh, equal to x minus y and v is x plus y and then we we draw the transformed region yeah, we find the boundaries and then we draw the transform region in the second part I'm going to do the uh, integral please watch the second uh, part thank you